Let's go, boy. So welcome to the hell is your town. problem? What can I do for you? Can I help you with something? <clears throat> Chief? I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Sure. Hey, partner. Friend. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell. Yeah. 
Let's get it. Yep, come on. Here. Just give me a minute, boy. I can't feel my leg anymore. You have to get the strap off of me, please. Mm. Keep pulling. I can feel it getting loose. Oh, God. Oh, oh, you did it. Oh, oh. I, uh, I, I gotta get some scrap or, or something here. Oh. Oh, mister, you... I thought I was gonna be... Oh, go! Oh, I thought I was gonna be a god. Oh, you... You can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh! Boy, 
They have a field day over this back in town. Yeah. So up now.
Come on. I got a special treat for you. Born free. I was born free, goddamn you. Let's go. Up you get. Take me to damn cork, then. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my... I ain't wrong. Sounds like sour grapes. You know... You ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in the hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the qual- What's this gay professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you, to kill you, humanely. <clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and... Run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Damn. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, the smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled, with strange scars across their Backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off of them. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, well, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, oh, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> Sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. 
Professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Can't get through nothing without some damn ruckus. Come on! Don't be shy now. Let's go. Bring him Here. to me! I got him. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Uh, oh, well, one stay by my humane electric ending facilitator. Uh, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Now come along.
Good-looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. If you ain't got papers, I can't give you much. I've been burned before. Ain't been too many. Come on now, get moving, back will you? What the hell's wrong with you? I don't want to get involved with you. Please, don't do this. Can't believe. It. <laughs> all day on that one, huh? Hey, you deaf, mister? Got big mouths, don't you? Bet you wouldn't miss some teeth. Come on, boy. Hello, mister. Hello. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is off. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. I think that it's Greek. Look at these idiots.
Well, and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on, I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. I thought I was a fraud, a no-talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass! <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! <laughs> There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Uh, uh. You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this.
Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. You know where the cemetery yeah. is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Let's go! Get a move on! So, what were you talking about before? Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... <sighs> He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. What are you doing? This way. Mr. Bronte! Ah! Oh. 
Let's bail, boys. This ain't worth it. Look out! They're making a run for it! Careful! They're leading us out in the open. Can't see worth a damn. We sure picked the right night for it. You think you can rob us? Reckon this is gonna wake some people up? No doubt. Let's see what I'm shooting at. You picked the right place to die, all right? Oh. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go and I'll have a drink. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. I got their Pappas watch no. right here! We've hit the big time. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Nothing to show for it, Arthur. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit! It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it.
shit! It's the law! Let's go! Maybe we can get out that gate! Locked! Let's just track back to where we came in! Damn it! Come on! We best stick to the side! It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate.
Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing. Come on, Arthur. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. They're going to love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. Do you know cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. Best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. 
We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Le Ugh. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well... We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> what are you I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Yeah. <laughs> 